Well, hey everyone, this is Chris DiFurio with Keys to the Shop. Welcome to another edition of Shift Break. Today's episode is brought to you by La Merzocco, who's been making espresso machines by hand in Florence, Italy since 1927. Now, La Merzocco, as you well know, is a household name in specialty coffee, and that's for a very good reason. All along their journey, they have been serving the needs of retailers like you by listening to your needs and building the world's most reliable and intuitively designed and beautiful espresso machines. And I know for a fact, La Marzocco is at the heart of so many of the world's best coffee shops. Of course, La Marzocco has many different styles and kinds of espresso machines that can fit any type of business that you might be in. One great example of this really connected kind of creation that they're involved with, this intuitive design, is the KB90 espresso machine that introduced straight in-locking portafilters. It has the scales built into the drip tray for accuracy of the extraction. It also has the auto flush feature, which keeps the group heads clean and improves your workflow. And like I said, it's one of many different kinds of machines that they produce that are designed just for your coffee bar. Go ahead and check them out at LaMarzocoUSA.com, but definitely email them, info at LaMarzocoUSA.com. One of their salespeople will help you walk through the process of selecting the right equipment for your cafe. Again, check them out over at LaMarzocoUSA.com. Today's episode is also brought to you by Espressly, who creates custom branded mobile apps for your cafe so that your customers get the convenience of mobile ordering, but they also get a branded and personalized experience that they can't get anywhere else because this is your app. This is your brand and experience, and that's why they love your coffee shop. So it makes sense to extend this out to any kind of offering or service that you give them so you really stand out, and you're not just one of many different coffee bars competing for their attention. This is a no-risk model with Espressly. There's no setup or development fee. You get a drive-through payment scanner, receipt and label printing capabilities. All of the data is stored in the app, and it integrates with some of the world's best payment processing systems. That's including Square, so uh, definitely a lot to love here. And I would encourage you, if you've been thinking about mobile ordering and apps for your cafe, then I definitely think you need to contact Espressly to learn more and have them get started today. Go ahead and visit them over at Espressly.co. That's Espressly.co. Okay, everybody. Well, today I wanted to talk to you about problems. And, you know, I I, I think that oftentimes in our conversations with uh, guests on the show, Founder Fridays, etc., we do, you know, cover challenges and problems. And so much of life is about overcoming certain things that can, you know, hold us back from where we want to be. And I think it's important for us to just know that problems will always be there. Challenges will always be there. And it's our role to consistently work through them. The question is, how well do we work through those problems? And that's where I wanted to talk to you a little bit today about specific problems. We're having problems in the cafe. It's stressful. It's challenging. There's anxiety. There's you know, a breakdown in communication, or the culture is not really that great, or um, service is lacking, and, you know, consistency is off. And so those are all very good assessments of things that you feel and alerts you to the fact that something is amiss, and you should pay attention to that for sure. But I don't know if you're paying enough attention If you don't have very specific problems, there is room in the way we think about the challenges we face to not just react to the very first inkling that there is an issue and to try to address it right away because we want to get that thing taken care of. But what we need to do instead is take care that we know what that thing actually is. What is the root cause of this fruit that you are experiencing? The fruit of what? What is the cause of this thing? You say it's bad service. Well, why is that the case? Have you investigated? Or have you simply said, hey, everybody, I noticed that service is lacking. Let's pick it up. Okay, team? High five. And so many people go (laughs) rah-rah when they should be going deeper Uh, And they should be trying to figure out what exactly is going on here. And I I help people walk through these kinds of things quite often. And here is the theme. 
we stay in this generalized category of problem recognition and it builds our anxiety because being general doesn't give you specific solutions. If you took a little bit more time to dwell on what exactly about the service do you feel is lacking? And, and what are maybe four or five things that you could guess or, or observe that is behind that particular challenge? Often at the base of every general problem that you seem to be having on your bar, there is one or maybe several specific reasons why that thing is happening. When did I first start noticing that people were less than enthusiastic behind the bar? What was happening uh, in the world? What was happening in their world? Uh, was there a bad staff meeting that happened? Now everybody's bummed out. Uh, you have to find these root causes. You know, another thing that you should be uh, considering right now is that as a professional problem solver, which that is what most leaders end up being in, in many cases, you need to be in contact and in communication with people constantly in order to keep your finger on the pulse of the business and notice variations and deviations when they happen so you can keep short accounts. Um, but what I see happen a lot is we take our hand off the wheel and then we're surprised that the car is in a ditch. So the key is don't stop driving the vehicle. Keep your hands on the wheel, 10 and 2, <laughs> and be present, be communicative, be aware, be in touch, solve problems as they come up, be curious about the root causes, address those consistently, and general anxiety and general problems that have been plaguing you for a long time will start to become more clear and that will relieve some of the anxiety because at least you can name it and now you know where to aim your energy and now you know that there is more likely going to be a solution in the future you can see the light at the end of the tunnel it might not be easy but at least there is a possibility with specificity that only staying at the level of that generality could not produce. So I hope that this was helpful for you and that you take these ideas and really start to be curious about the root causes of some of the challenges that you have in your shop, be they related to the product, the people, the business, whatever it is. Like I said, these are the kinds of conversations that I end up having with people a lot. And after discussing it, we end up thinking, okay, Here's the step forward. The trick now is for you to have those kinds of conversations with yourself and with your team and make it a regular part of how you lead your coffee shop through the day-to-day -day challenges that are just a part of creating a wonderful coffee experience. So again, thank you for listening. I hope it was helpful. Subscribe to Keys to the Shop. Don't forget to uh, follow on Instagram. I hope you have an awesome day. And as always, I'll see you here next week on another edition of Shift Break from keys to the shop.